Hi, this is Abdullah Raouf from Lattice Semiconductor here at the Embedded Vision Summit introducing Lattice Sense AI. We're trying to bring FPGA processing capability to the mass market. We are offering a few different capabilities so that a lot of the developers in the world can now make use and take advantage of the FPGA capability. We are offering an ICE 40 Ultra Plus FPGA, the small tiny FPGA, that's the entire compute engine for your neural network. We're able to implement deep neural networks, and in fact, we have a reference design or an example design that allows you to use training from TensorFlow or CAFE and allow you to compare the TensorFlow-based training or models to or new image sensor data. So for example, here we have a human face detection. We have this piece of hardware that's looking for a human face, and when I point it to my face, the LED light stays lit, telling you that indeed there was a human face detected. It does this in 10 milliseconds and it does this at 800 microwatts. So that's a total solution of 800 microwatts within a compute time of 10 milliseconds in an FPGA that's as small as two by two millimeters. And this FPGA is only a dollar in high volume applications. We're also offering the hardware development kit that I'm showing here for developers to quickly design their own neural network, their own training tool so that they can get up and running on a, on a deep neural network sitting on the edge consuming low power. We also offer different form factors. This is just the exact same FPGA in a different form factor. Uh, so it gives our developers a few options on what they want to do. We also have a different reference design. This one is not using an image sensor to detect a pattern. This one is using a microphone to detect a pattern. And this time the pattern is not a human face, but it's a specific word or phrase. The word we're looking for is the word seven. And anytime the word seven is said, this LED turns on. And if any other number or any other phrase is said, the LED stays off because it doesn't detect that. Four, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, the same FPGA is used, the same training flow is used, the same neural network structure is used. The only thing that changes is the sensor changes and the training database changes from hundreds of thousands of faces to hundreds of thousands of voice, uh, voice files. So what we want to do is offer this capability to the world and we want the world to find out which sensor they want to use, find out what training database they want to use and quickly implement those solutions within our low power, low cost, production ready FPGA. Thank you for taking the time today with Abdullah here at Lattice. Uh, and if you want more information, please visit us at www.latticesemi.com.